Hello everyone and welcome to the beautiful Swedish wilderness. A few days ago I got a message from a good friend of mine and fantastic photographer Knut Erik Alnes asking whether I would like to join him for a three day excursion to a nature reserve in the Swedish wilderness to attempt photographing red-throated loons. And since I love red-throated loons and I didn't have anything better to do. Of course, I said, yes, please. Uh, so now we've made the four hour drive to this nature reserve. This location where we're at is uh, a large expanse of marshes with lots of small ponds. And the red-throated loons like to breed here on these ponds. So this is the first evening of uh, our excursion. And tonight our goal is to kind of get an idea of the place and map out where the good locations are uh, so we get an idea of where we're gonna spend the next few days photographing. So come along and join me on this little adventure and uh, let's see how this goes. The soundscape in this place is just incredible. All around I'm hearing cuckoos, pipits, barn swallows, uh, the red-throated loons of course, uh, wood sandpipers, and now cranes. So wandering through this picturesque bog is just amazing for the senses. I just love the sound of cranes. They, in my eyes, they are a true symbol of the Nordic wilderness. And just hearing their calls really gives me goosebumps. So this is fantastic. We've just come across our very first red-throated loon. It just seems to be resting and is taking life rather slow. But this is a great first find. The sun has now set and our little scouting has come to an end. So far we've only seen that one individual that I showed you earlier, but that one individual was at a really scenic spot. So even if that's the only one we're going to see, I think it definitely has a lot of great potential for the coming days. But it's just so wonderful to be out and just enjoying this amazing scenery and taking it slow and taking it all in. So I'll see you guys tomorrow morning, which is in just a few hours. I'm sorry for interrupting the video, but I have some very exciting news to share. My 2024 calendars are finally here. So in this 2024 calendar, I present 13 of my proudest images from throughout the seasons. All the images are captured in Norway and celebrate the magnificent diversity of the seasons, the natural phenomena and the wildlife of this breathtaking Nordic country. The calendars are printed in top quality by Seve and are available in both English and Norwegian. Excluding shipping fees, each calendar costs 320 Norwegian kroners. So if you would like to support the channel and purchase a calendar either for yourself or maybe as a gift, simply send me a message on Instagram at Tobias underscore Yerla underscore photography. Thank you so much for your time. Now back to the video.
Good morning everyone. It's about an hour until sunrise and the atmosphere is absolutely sensational. There is just this enigmatic layer of mist covering everything and it just looks like taken out of a fairy tale. It's absolutely amazing. Just look at this. This is exactly what we came here for. As mentioned, our target species for this trip is the red-throated loon. And the red-throated loon isn't necessarily a very rare species. The reason why we drove four hours to spend three nights at this place is to experience and capture the atmospheres. Because that's what makes this place so incredibly special. Wow. I'm absolutely in awe. At the moment, we've got everything we could have wanted. We've got completely still conditions, we've got the mist, and we've got the light. But we haven't got the birds. For some reason, they seem to be elsewhere since they are nowhere to be found. But I guess we just have to be patient and hope that they do appear. Hopefully before the sun breaks through. we suddenly heard the flight calls of a red throated loon and there was just one that landed on this very pond in front of us. Unfortunately it was landing away uh, so we couldn't get any images of the landing itself but now we finally have our subject which we can continue working on. It was just a second individual that landed on the pond right behind me here. But incredibly enough, even though we know that they are 30 meters away from us, we can't see them because the fog is so incredibly thick. So now it's just a game of patience.
Well, we were photographing the red-throated loons just now. I spotted some movement out in the corner of my eye and it turned out to be a wood sandpiper, uh, which is a bird I really like. And in these amazing surroundings, I think it could result in some really nice images. So that's what I'm gonna try now. I'm just following this little fella. He's making his way along, along the edge of the pond here. And there are some tufts of grass that have a lot of cobweb on them. So I'm just really crossing my fingers that he's gonna make his way up onto one of those tufts of grass. So I'm just gonna have to be patient. Now the sun has burned away most of the mist and the magical atmosphere of dawn has faded away. So that means it's time for us to leave, get back to where we're staying and catch up on sleep. So I'll see you again in the evening.